Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to our Bitcoin price update. In today's episode we're gonna start first with Ethereum because Ethereum broke out from this heavy resistance here at $400. So we're gonna see what are the possible targets here because we broke out from a significant resistance and if we are able to build up a support here above the previous resistance we are about to make a big move to the upside but of course there are also some bearish signs that we have to keep an eye on and before we're gonna start now with ethereum a little reminder guys if you want to trade also all the cryptos that you're seeing here even gold or oil or whatever you find all the links to different exchanges down below here in the video description with my links you can get some rewards and also you support the channel you find all the exchanges that i'm also using and i recommend all down below here together with the sign up link and currently we have on femex 80 dollars sign up bonus if you use my link and also on bybit we have up to 90 dollars completely for free rewards if you fulfill all the requirements here and also on bityard currently we still have this 258 dollars bonus depending on your trading volume and there is a big big update here on this exchange next to the usual cryptos that you anyway can trade here even chain link right now you can also trade derivatives here so you can also go long you can go short on oil for example and so on you see the list all down below here so you just need tether here you don't need any kyc nothing just your email register put some tether and you can straight start Start to trade here all these products that you see right now even up to 200x leverage so this is really amazing guys so if you are interested in trading these products then definitely go and register to BTRT use the link that you find down below here in the video description and BTRT is also the exchange that is offering and sponsoring our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway every week so make also sure to subscribe to our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway the subscription video is popping up at the end of this video so with that said guys I can start right now with ethereum because here we have the daily time frame and after we were supported here by the 20 daily moving average even with the last little dump here you can see that we broke out successfully to the upside and this could be also a leading indicator for for the next move on Bitcoin. So it is very likely that we're also gonna see a breakout from 12,000 over on uh, Bitcoin because Ethereum, most of the times, it's a leading indicator of what is going on next. And if we have a close look here in the daily time frame on Ethereum, you can see that there are also some bearish signs, like for example here the RSI, we are getting into overbought condition, and at the same time we're building up here a bearish divergence. So we have higher highs in the price and lower highs in the RSI so this is a bearish divergence and we could potentially dump here anytime soon the thing is only that we are in a clear uptrend once we broke out from this downwards moving channel here and you definitely don't want to short an uptrend so if we're gonna see a play out of this potential overbought condition and also bearish divergence, then take it as an, a big opportunity to go long, scale in your longs. I mean, you can even start right now to scale in longs. If you go with low leverage in, for example, here on Bybit, you can already start to go with 1x, 2x, or even 5x leverage, and you will have enough room to play. Even if the price here on Bitcoin, for example, retrace back down to 8,000, you would still maintain your trade and you can just scale in your long position because we are in an uptrend. And if you don't want to wait for the best entry, then maybe go with low leverage in and always keep your trade open because if we're starting to moon here it will go very very fast to the upside and even with low leverage you will make a lot of gains and remember on Bybit you can also trade Ethereum so if you want to trade this breakout of Ethereum then I think Bybit is the best option 
for you and now let's zoom out here let's go into the weekly time frame and see what are the next potential moves and targets here because if we do this fibonacci retracement from the bottom to the top that we had so far in the history of ethereum you can see that after breaking here the first fib line here the 0.236 the next target would be up here at the 0.382 at around $600. You can also see that this area here between 510 and $600 here acted also as support and resistance previously we didn't see much action over here also in the past here once we broke out from 480 dollars here we went straight up towards 750 so currently i think it is very likely that we will not stop here at around 600 dollar but will continue here towards the 750 dollars range because this area up here was more significant here when we dumped and also had here a bounce to the upside you see where we came up here at around 750 dollars so this is my personal target for ethereum here if bitcoin will also push through 14,000 and reach my bullish target of 16,000 before we're gonna see a major correction if ethereum is gonna reach 750 also bitcoin will reach 16,000 dollar and this area here between 500 to 600 dollar this is in my opinion the area where also bitcoin could top out at around 14,000 which could be also a bearish sign because then we would form a double top which is a very bearish formation but even if we will create such a bearish pattern as long as we're building up higher lows everything is okay because in that case also we could be forming a big ascending triangle but for now i think it is almost confirmed that we're gonna see here 14,000 on bitcoin pretty soon and on ethereum 600 to 500 dollars so definitely go and play this trade because if we're going even up to 600 dollars this would be almost a 50 percent gain to the upside without any leverage and even if ethereum would retrace down here towards the 20 weekly moving average at around 270 even up to 300 dollars if you go with low leverage in into a trade you can maintain your trade for a long time and you don't have to panic that you may get liquidated or stopped out so if you go with low leverage you can already start to scale in right now your trade we are still very overbought but we are just at the beginning of a big uptrend especially here on ethereum and now we can switch over to the bitcoin chart and we can start also here in the weekly time frame because also here you can see that currently we are very overbought the rsi is coming here to the 70 level if we have a look here into the bollinger band also here we are still fighting here the top and mcd and stochastic are still very overbought so there is a very high chance that we could push through 12,000 and bring us to the next level of potential $14,000 and there we have to start to consolidate and build up support in order to continue the push towards $16,000 which I still think is possible to be reached but even if we reach out to $14,000 that would be still a good sign even though we could form a double top but as long as we are forming higher lows in the bigger picture everything is good and you should consider to buy every major dip that we're gonna see here in the next couple of weeks and months and we can go down here into the daily time frame because also here you can see the bollinger band currently is looking bullish we are trading in the upper area so between the range of 11,400 up to 12,300 dollar the stochastic currently is still oversold so also here i'm expecting a possible push to the upside the only problem is here also the macd which had a bearish cross and this could indicate that we will see some more pushes to the downside maybe only here on a bitcoin because also here if we go into the daily time frame you can see that we are still overbought here in the rsi but we already cooled off here a bit and so far here we are not seeing a bearish divergence also because bitcoin so far didn't broke out to the upside and you see also this green line here this old support that we created down here before we broke out from ten thousand dollar so far it's holding and it's perfectly lining up with the 20 daily moving average that is also where we bottomed here after this major crash down here and in my opinion here we're gonna see a possible breakout coming up also pretty soon to the upside 
And since we are now in the daily here, let's have a look also into the Bitcoin dominance because yesterday I pointed out that most likely we're going to have a breakout to the downside from this descending triangle and it happened and we got exactly a bounce here at around 60%. So I still think that we're going to see some more pushes to the downside here in the Bitcoin dominance. We will most likely retest the 60%, maybe even 59% area down here if this DeFi hype is going to continue. But at the end here, most likely Bitcoin is going to break out to the upside. So I think this channel that we are in right now is a potential bullish pattern. So a potential bull flag, which most likely will break out here to the upside and Bitcoin is going to gain more momentum and more market cap. And if we switch over quickly to Ethereum, you can see that a very similar pattern we had also here. So I'm expecting something similar to happen also with the Bitcoin dominance where right now we are quite at the bottom and it's most likely a matter of days or weeks before Bitcoin is going to gain again market cap and then most likely going to outperform everything else. Even though I think in some altcoins we will see some continuation in the coins that so far also performed very well and most likely also in some top coiners like Litecoin, XRP, EOS and so on. But this is what we're going to have to see once Bitcoin is gaining again more dominance. And now let's go back into the Bitcoin chart and let's open up the four hour time frame. So let's have a look also into the lower time frames like here the four hour here you can see that we had clearly a close above the 20 and 50 moving average in the four hour and right now we are testing here this moving average which is a very bullish sign. I had here two buy signals in my indicator and I still think there is a very high chance that here we're going to see a possible test of 12,000 and most likely also breakout to the upside coming up pretty soon but also don't forget that today is Friday so today we're gonna close the CMEs and enter the weekend so on the weekend we always have play time so it is very dangerous to trade on weekends and also I don't like to keep trades open during the weekend because very often we see things like this where we just pump and dump and then retrace immediately where we close the CMEs on Friday so be very careful in case that you keep up a trade open during the weekend when the CMEs are not trading and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour currently here as you can see we are back again in the upper area so also here we have a trading range between 11,640 and 11,850 so if you're looking for a good long opportunity then maybe start to scale in your longs down here towards 11,640 because I think if we're having this retracement and this test down here into the middle area here at around $11,600 there we should see a big bounce to the upside. The problem here in the four hour is that currently we have a bearish cross in the stochastic so this could mean that we will see this $11,600 retest and the MACD is now shifted to the upside so in theory we should then also bounce from it and since I also got here a buy signal even though we weren't completely oversold I think after this little pullback here we're gonna see another leg up towards 12,000 to retest here the main resistance and now we can also have a quick look in the one hour time frame this time frame currently is not so relevant but here you can see clearly that we are forming here a W formation which is a very bullish sign and this could indicate that we're gonna test here this 12k pretty soon confirm here the W formation and then have the breakout to the upside but here in the one hour you can see that the RSI was overbought here I even got a sell signal here in the one hour which is not very relevant but at least I was expecting here a little pullback to retest the moving averages and also if we go over into the Bollinger Band here after overshooting it to the upside we retrace back here into the middle area right now we are testing this area and we should expect also here a possible push to the upside pretty soon we had the bearish cross in the MACD let's see if this is going to play out or not and the stochastic is also cooling off here so in theory we should expect here a possible push to the upside pretty soon but if you're entering new trades right now then be very careful and maybe use low leverage because we could still see some little short-lived wicks to the downside since we are still in very over condition so make sure if you're trading with leverage that you always use stop losses or go with low leverage in and always put an order right before liquidation price so you will not get liquidated and you don't have to watch the price 
24 7 and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget moon up the like subscribe to the channel and also join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is uh, welcome thank you very much my friends for watching let's hope that we can break this twelve thousand dollar and move on to the next level towards 14k and even better sixteen thousand dollar within the next couple of days bye for now guys bye bye